Michelle. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I'm just glad maybe they'll have some rain down there, but actually they've got sunshine and 80s down in Jacksonville tomorrow. So a little warmer than where we are here, but you know, not by much. We're going to be in the 70s. It looks like tomorrow. The only issue is that we've got some fog out there. Now you see those beautiful lights. Thanks to William Bottomley up in Allegheny County up in Ennis. The fog is setting in. We also have reports of showers out there. Light rain falling from areas of Davie County through Winston Salem and heading out toward Ennis and Elon area. So uh, we're looking at those visibility certainly reduced up in the Sparta Allegheny region up through Galax and also in the northern Piedmont. This is where we also have your dense fog advisories up until 10 a.m. You can see one of the reasons is we've got a front that's stretched out here. Now we don't have the best energy to get those showers going and keep them going. The thunderstorm activity was very intense earlier in the day. Severe weather down in Georgia, parts of South Carolina. We're grateful just to be talking about at least six hundredths of an inch in Winston Salem, 1700 hundredths of an inch in Martinsville. We're going to be adding maybe about a tenth of an inch to this as we go through the overnight hours. Then then we get a little bit of a lull in the action until New Year's Eve night. So Friday overnight into your Saturday morning, a few more scattered showers similar to what we're seeing now. Even some isolated severe storms for folks in the mountains, western foothills possible, but that is likely to change tomorrow. So check in with Jacqueline in the morning, Saturday late night into Sunday morning. That's the real deal. We think this is the round of rain that's actually going to bring us some good soaking rain anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch, and we may be able to add to that if we can get some good soaking thunderstorms. So keep your weather alerts turned on your phones now also have to be charged and of course NOAA weather radio don't forget the WXII app will alert you to all of these severe weather events if we should have them you see that front stretched out right now bringing showers down along the coast and in the sand hills we've got a few spotty showers up around Winston Salem Greensboro up through Stokesdale and Burlington right now you'll get at least a chance to see some rain too 58 degrees in Reedsville 57 in Martinsville and maximum highs today in the upper 60s didn't quite make it into the 70s which would have been a record setting or at least near record setting. We've got mild temperatures though by the afternoon after a morning of 40s and fog in the mountains winds out of the west southwest and your highs there in the low to mid 60s near 69 at least in the foothills. If we get that fog burning off a little bit earlier, I think you get into the 70s as well. Winds tomorrow not a big deal out of the southwest 5 to 10. It's a warm flow, but it is not going to be a windy day like what we have coming Saturday and Sunday. Those days will be a little bit gustier, but 72 degrees in the trine after a morning of those low 50s and look at this. The marginal risk is really Friday night into Saturday morning. It is pushing a little bit farther east now toward the triad, but I do think that this is going to be a limited risk. A lot of the forecast models taking some of that rain around us. You see the hour by hour forecast shows those 50s. We've got the warm conditions all the way through the afternoon. Looking good to see even some sunshine peek through too. And then we've got the fog possible until the winds start to pick up into your Saturday. Look at the showers also with the windy weather really kicking in around Saturday morning, four to about 3 a.m. You can see here we've got those spotty showers. Notice how most of the rain still showing us that track around the mountains, but we can't rule out that one or two might not sneak in to areas along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Saturday, even your New Year's Day, still looking warm and great. Some sunshine may peek through, and then we've got some heavy downpours on the way potentially into Sunday morning after we get a round of rain and thunderstorms going with that cold front passing through midday. We should end up with about an inch in some locations. I still think three quarters of an inch is a much more reasonable amount to expect right now. We'll keep you posted on that. Your New Year's Eve. Look at this scattered clouds out there Then a rain chance of 20%, a better chance of some showers, isolated storms getting you through the midnight hour as we ring in 2022, but we're looking good. Seven day forecast shows some sunshine out there on New Year's Day. Much colder and windy as we head into Monday, about a 30 degree temperature drop from your Saturday, and then we're chilly and at least dry through middle of next week.